For Music Monday today, we are welcoming a world famous jazz pianist and composer who is this year's artist in residence at the Michigan State University Jazz Department. Joining us is Rini Rosness. Good morning and thank you for being with us. Oh, my pleasure. Nice to be with you. It is great to have you. So, Rini, the kids obviously get a lot from you by learning from you one on one. But what does it mean to you to be part of this endowment program at MSU teaching the next generation of jazz musicians? Well, it's really a wonderful experience. You know, Rodney Whitaker has developed an amazing program here, a very illustrious program. And the students are all very dedicated and enthusiastic, and they're just raring to, to go. And uh, we did a performance at the Federal Credit Union, uh, who endows this, uh, uh, my coming here. And uh, the, the kids were just, so wonderful afterwards they came up they had a lot of questions for me so you know it's just an opportunity for me to share my experience with them uh, of all my many years in the business and there's no right or wrong way to learn this music there's a lot of different perspectives so um, it's it's really uh, a lot I learned from them as well by the kinds of questions that they're asking me that sounds very exciting but now how did you get into playing piano Oh, I began at a very young age. I started taking classical lessons when I was three. I got into jazz in high school um, through a very passionate uh, music director, and uh, whom I still keep in touch with. <laughs> and uh, it was when I was in university in Toronto that I realized that, you know, this is really my passion. This is what I want to do in my life. And, and so I just uh, eventually ended up in New York and never left. Very nice, very nice. But I have to say, there is something about the piano. Now, we have talked on the show before many times about an instrument that we would love to learn how to play, and both Jason, my co-host, and I always say the piano. Why do you think so many people love this instrument? Well, it's pretty prevalent, right? I mean, if you think about growing up and all the pianos that may have been in your friends' homes, I don't know whether that's the same today, but the, the piano is really such a versatile instrument. Um, it can be an orchestra, it can be a solo uh, uh, instrument, it can play so many different kinds of uh music and there are so many wonderful musicians uh, who, who are great pianists and so I think we're inspired by them whether it's Elton John or Horowitz or Oscar Peterson or Thelonious Monk I mean there's so many ways to approach the music uh, so I think it's just a it will always be an attractive instrument for people to play all right well you are gonna play a song for us uh, what is the name of the song well, I thought I'd play some Thelonious Monk. Speaking of uh, Thelonious Monk, this is a, a, a piece called Four in One. Can never go wrong with Thelonious Monk. Here is Rini uh, Rosness taking us to break. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. 